Angelo, are you online? Hello, yes, I am. So, um, I think okay. you have enough Re 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 Reza, you have to stop sharing your... Yeah. your Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. Sorry. Okay, so Angelo, uh, can you share your slides? Yes. Uh huh. Can you see it? So we see you, not your slides yet. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. it's so go on. Oops. Start. Yeah. Great. Okay. So hello, everyone. Um, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um. I am Angelo Marco Ramosa from the National Institute of Physics, UP, um, University of the Philippines, Diliman, from the Philippines. So the talk I will give for 20 minutes is entitled First Passage Characteristics of Resetting Bias Diffusion with Mixed Absorbing and Reflecting Boundaries. So since it's only a 20 minute talk, I will just cut some stuff and <laughs> we'll, I'll try to manage um, Angelo, so that's Angelo I'm sorry I'm interrupting you. It's a 15-minute talk, actually. Oh, 15 minutes. Oh, uh -huh. so yeah. faster talk. Okay. okay. So from the title, um, since it said that it's a diffusion, we know a diffusion has so many um, things to talk about. You have, it can, it can be anything. So from the title, uh, we'll narrow it down to what I'm going to talk for 15 minutes. So this is the title. So from the title, first we have boundaries. So the boundaries, let's say, for this talk, it will be only a one-dimensional lattice. And then it's just eliminated from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. And then we also have absorbing and reflecting boundaries. So here we set x equal to 0 to be an absorbing boundary, while x equal to 1 be a reflecting boundary. Also, in this talk, we also included I, we're going to talk about the first passage characteristics such as the mean and the variance since mean and variance can um, show the behavior of your distribution. So from here, the implications are since we have an absorbing boundary at x equal to zero, the limit of the, our distribution at any time when the space approaches that boundary x equal to zero should be zero while the reflecting boundary at x equal to one the implication of this is the flux at x equal to one should be zero at any time t also um since we included resetting um, in this talk my our variable for resetting is small r and then our walker random walker will reset to a position say x naught also, we included a bias, and then in here, the bias will be indicated by the variable v. Okay, so the plan to solve the first passage characteristics is, so first, how do we solve for the first passage or the mean first passage time? So in, in papers, we read that it, so that they can solve for this, their process is, first, they solve the probability distribution with the setting, and then compute the first passage time with the setting, and then get the mean first passage. But this, for me, it's not in, uh, intuitive. And then we'll, I'm going to show a more, um, I say this, friendly approach. So for me, I will start with the distribution, okay, and then solve for the Laplace transform of it of the our probability distribution and then compute the uh, first passage time without resetting and then later on we include the resetting onto it then solve for the main first passage time so that we can see the characteristics of the first passage okay so in this process my plan we have milestones so first we need to identify the evolution of the probability Okay, so we, in here, we start with this, and then after we get the, or we identify the evolution of the, our probability, we need to get the probability rate. After this, we will move on to the Laplace transform of the probability distribution. And then from here, we can get easily the Laplace transform of the first passage. And then in this talk, our 
the main um, idea in here or our my contribution or such is we include their setting from a non-resetting first passage. I will later I will show how it is related. And then after this, we can all we can now get the moments or the uh, well moments like mean and variance. Okay. So in here in my in this process, in these milestones, it is much easier since we are going just to take the derivatives and not to take integrations. And we know it's easier to take in derivatives than integrations. So the mathematical methods for this is first from our evolution of probability, we will use the you we're going to use Taylor expansion to get the probability rate, and then after to to get the we will take the Laplace transform with the application of our conditions, boundary conditions, connect um, continuity conditions, and initial conditions. We will get the Laplace transform. After that, there's a definition of first passage that will connect the Laplace transform of probability distribution to the first passage time distribution. And then we will add the setting. Then there's a definition of moments from this. Sorry, so right, Angelo, this Angelo, can I interrupt you for a second? Uh, can you just, uh, I may have missed this, but uh, what, what does resetting correspond to physically in, in uh, X or S space? Uh, sorry. Uh, so resetting means, so since we have a random walker, it mm -hmm. means that while it tra uh, traverses the region, um, there's a probability that our random walker will be teleported into a resetting position. In this talk, it will be X dot. Ah, okay. And here, resetting means it, um, our random walker, there will be a probability it will go to the X dot. I see. Okay. Thanks. Yes, okay. so it, it's, it's a sudden jump. Uh, he says teleportation, ah. but ah, there's so nothing about jump. Okay, 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 I see. Well, in this talk, we'll be teleportation. We got, um, well, some, you can set actually a traversing time, resetting time, uh, traversing the setting time to go to that position. So there are papers there. You can look for them, and then you can read about them. So here, um, so let's start in the um, solving for this. So the evolution of the probability. So for example, at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there's a sample of a lattice. And then the blue dot is our position x. So the evolution of probabilities means that from time t, what will happen to the, our random walker from t to time t plus dt? So in here, our um, as you can see, um, all the p's are our probability at a position x, and then t and for time t, and then t plus dt, which is the left hand side for the next time step. So the things that are not common here are the k's. So example, this k, k plus from, um, at location x minus h t is the probability of a random walker from x minus h, where h is the spacing size or spacing step, x minus h. So the k plus is the probability of it moving to the right to going to position x, while k minus x plus h t is the probability of a random walker at x plus h to move to position x at time t. So as you can see, at the position x, there, um, there's an increase of probability or increase of numbers of random walking going to there since you can go from x minus h and x plus h to, to go to position x. Furthermore, we can, um, the probability will decrease since the random walker can move from pxt, the position x, leaving it. So if the random walker, it can go from position X, it can go to the left, given by the probability K minus, or probability rate K minus, and then probability K plus for moving to the right. So this is the, um, for me, this is more intuitive because they can look at a lattice and then think what you want to have or like a recipe or the ingredients you want so that if you can add two more, or like if, it can move two steps, you can add more um, terms in here. So from here, from our milestones, we tailor expand this. So we tailor expand this on dt and h, and we'll have this. Well, I omitted the higher orders of dt squared and h cubed. 
Okay. So from here, um, it's kind of um, not common. Uh, it's very uncommon. But in the next slide or next equation, or there's a simpler notation such that this equation seven is the more um, and the equation eight are the more common equation we know. Okay. So again, here V is the um, our term, a variable that shows bias, and D is the, our diffusion coefficient. Okay, so we have a homogeneous media, yes? Angelo, I'm sorry for the interruption. We are almost five. at the 10 minute uh, yes. mark, so you have five minutes flexible, but leave some time for questions. Thank you. Okay, so we have a homogeneous media, so V and D are just constants. Now, so our conditions I said earlier are boundary conditions, which are given by 9 and 10, which I said earlier. Um, initial condition equation 11, we said that, say, the random worker will start at the resetting position. We can put it anywhere else, but for here, set it, let's set it at the resetting position. And then we have a continuing condition. So since we have two different mid uh, boundary, it's wise to cut your probability distribution into two so that we're here it's p less than and p greater than so that um, you can apply a boundary condition on one um, say which is the p at x equal to zero and then another prob um, function p greater than where you apply boundary condition at x equal to one okay so when you use plus transfer we will get this equation okay so um, in here, we have a some co um, constant of risk of, <clears throat> so this is a constant of x, the, this um, some value c. Next, um, after that, we solve for the first passage. So first passage is just <clears throat> the flux, wherein we can think of the, the first time the random walker reached a position x. Here, we want to see at x equal to zero, and we'll get this equation. Now, to get the first passage probability with the setting, um, with this paper by PAL, um, we obtain this equation 18, where the relationship of first passage time without the setting and first passage time with the setting, we obtain this equation such that we will be able to get our um, the characteristics of the first passage. So the end moment is given by this one. So equation 20 is the definition and then equation 21 is using the, our previous equation. So from this, we will be able to get the first passage characteristics mean the first moment. It is, it is given by this equation. So um, it is actually very long. So we use equation 23 to simplify our equation. Okay, and then this is the second moment, the variance. We will able to have this equation. So um, we have three more um, large um, functions, um, of capital C, capital gamma, and capital lambda, where they scale as equation 25. So example of our first passage, uh, well, the mean is given by this. So where the y-axis is the first moment, the mean first passage time, and then the x-axis are resetting rate, r. Okay, so in here, we can see that the difference of the colors are the different v, and then the d we just set equal to one. So in here, we can see that the, um, the bias increases when you increase, or rather, the first moment increases as to increase the bias, which makes sense because the bias, when it's positive, it goes to the right. So if the random walker wants to move to the right, going away from our absorbing boundary, it will take more time. And, and also in this plot, it shows that the points, the huge points in the plot are the minimum point at this region. We can see that it is different for a different V. And also, as you can see in the um, shape of the plot, there are some resetting part, sample here. 
So Angelo, we have less than uh, less than one minute. We have to wrap it up. Okay, go on. Yeah. So in here, it takes more time to go to the absorbing boundary than if you increase the resetting rate. It will less take. It will take less time. And then if you um, go further, it will take again more time. So there's an optimal resetting rate on this such. So that's that's all of my of my talk. So thank you for listening. Lots of love from the Philippines. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's nice we have uh, such a diverse range of topics for today afternoon. Um, we don't have time for questions again, but if you have a question, please.